A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And since you've been doing right by me, I'll continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. I don't trust you, Waller. You or your agency. Well, you're gonna have to start. If I cared to reveal your identity, it'd be on every news channel by now. You need to trust me, Batman. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the oh. hell? <laughs> Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Then go already! Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege.
What? What more do you want with me? Hey, shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah. yourself. But you can call me Bane. No! <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. Will die alone. I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead? Yeah, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña. <laughs> One is mine. Did you get him? There is nothing. 
nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you to the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll be the back of my guys. Safe travels, my friends. Say something if you can hear me. Over here. Oh my god. Batman. I found him. We're going to have to unpin him. Batman. I'm gonna need your help to push this thing off you. One. Two. who was taken hostage. Where is he? He didn't make it. I'm sorry. Who the hell did this to you? Called himself Bane. His crew loaded the weapons onto the APCs and took them to a warehouse. I really do appreciate you reaching out to me about this. Listen. You really need to pull yourself together, because the threat we're facing is worse than I thought. While you were here, a gang of masked men hit a biotech manufacturer. Perf slipped right through our damn fingers. Happens to the best of us. No, it doesn't. There's no excuse for failure. Not even my own. This Bane, and the crew who hit the biotech lab, must all be members of Riddler's gang. I need to get back to the Batcave, figure out how this all fits together. As soon as my team finishes cleaning up that biotech facility, I'll share with you any intel we discover. It's a sign our new partnership is off to a good start. You're on my team now, and I take good care of my people. Agent Avesta, you should be resting. There will be time for that later. I wanted to thank you properly 
for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without you. It's the job. It's what I do. You can dismiss it if you want, but I won't. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You were right to trust the Director to help with this. Working with Waller will be the fastest way to stop these murderers before anyone else gets hurt. Consider that. You should go take care of yourself. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. Fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. We... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough. Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Bane is running free out there. He's just getting started. That's what frightens me, Bruce. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight. All at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that... melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled.
Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be... Dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Good thing you hit that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Uh, okay. It feels. No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of. Sh oh. Uh... <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> say that to my face. <laughs> Come on, out with it. I'll say what I want. 
John says this is a safe space. Bruce! <laughs> uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John! What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. Bruce? Really? <sighs> I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. What? That wasn't me, John. Do you have other people that would want to find you? I don't think so. Not until now. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. <laughs> Coming off the meds, you know, is sometimes there's a, a little residual paranoia. So... That know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse! That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I don't know, John. The way you were talking about him at the funeral and the way you're laughing now... It makes me wonder. Riddler was a terrible person, Bruce. I don't think it's wrong to want him dead. Doesn't mean I pulled the trigger, though. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd doesn't seem like you. The timing wasn't right, but I've reconsidered. The way you described your friends sounded great. A special breed, you said. Inspiring. I like to be around people like me. I didn't realize I was so convincing. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again, you have my word. I pinky swear. Uh-oh. I, I guess that's a pretty dumb thing for a couple of grown men to do. But you, you know what I meant. Let's, uh, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. 
Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you... Screw you! Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Stay away from him. Perfect! <laughs> Lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Willie had a problem, and we took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling the Come on. <laughs> Better get out of here. <laughs> hey, handsome. I need a drink before you go. You're following me? Waller just wants to remind you. Stay on the clone and get to Bane. Whatever happens, keep your eye on the prize. Bruce, be careful. You at least gotta tell me her name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Got it? God damn it! I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. John, really? You stole this car? I know it's kind of falling apart, but it was the only thing available, you know? Besides, the newer models, they don't start so easy without a key. There we go! got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. A guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Harley? Stay out of this pudding. Grown-ups are talking. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you, too? No. Those are fun. I'm <laughs> just Josh and your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Never, and I mean never, do that again. 
Oh, Brucey, I was just having fun. Don't you like fun? Oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Puddin said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with us? What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. Excitement, huh? Mr. Silver Spoon needs some new toys? Oh, you, you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah, <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. Don't you know you're supposed to answer a lady when she talks to you? You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's gonna take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Aw, oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. Stop! What were you guys talking about? Your friend was saying he had the hots for me. Loverboy said I was just his type. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? <laughs> I was just kidding around. I, I didn't mean anything I said. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta stand by your words or you ain't nothing at all. Doesn't sound like you were kidding. The best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? 
Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Well, this is a complex task. There might be some bumps along the way. Nothing is guaranteed. Some things are. Like how fast I'll make you disappear if any of those bumps turn into trouble. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, is everything okay? Would you believe it? I left my wallet in my office. Oh, I've been there, sir. You're all set, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. <laughs> Really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. <laughs> this ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Just go wait in the car. I can do this alone. I don't think you're getting it. You ain't the one in charge. And you ain't the only one allowed to have fun. Didn't your mama ever teach you about Sharon? Now that you mention it, no. She never had the chance. <laughs> Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to catch an early flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. Oh. Well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Huh. 
like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Mm -mm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Oh boy. It is getting hot in here. No, 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 here. no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. We've got a job to do, remember? We'll get to it, Pud. Don't get your panties in a twist. Wait here, I'll be right back with you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate. Listen, he told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those Batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Somehow, I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol Vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Okay, 
still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. Nope. Not encouraging. Keep looking. All right, that's a start. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Getting there. Not being able to open a door in your own building doesn't exactly inspire confidence. One more partial print should do it. There we go. Okay, this will work. Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce... These people you're with... I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, no need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. Keep your mouth shut, John, or I promise you you'll regret it. <laughs> I can tell this means a lot to you, Bruce. 
You're using your stern father voice. I like it. You heard him. Shut it. <laughs> yeah, you, you got it. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? I don't like it any more than you do, Tiffany. But this is the only way to walk away safely. Trust me, it's the right thing to do. It's a little too late for that. Oh well. Tiffany! Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey boys come more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kinda like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. We grew up together. You could say she's family. You're no family of mine. Oof, Bruce. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <coughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say, your spark. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab. I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar, but I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the names. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? came to us because you got bored of being a billionaire. Now you want to be part of the family, don't you? I'm nothing like you, Harley. I'm not a murderer. That's not what I wanted to hear. <sighs> not at all. Let her go. It wasn't about her. It was about seeing where he stands. But go easy on him, Harley. Bruce is loyal. He got us the key. He found it in the vault. Right on the counter. Hmm. Is that a fact? Maybe we don't need to kill ya. At least not yet. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. <sighs> I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Tiffany's safety is more important than the truth. Just be careful you don't drive her away. 
with regards to tonight's other catastrophes. Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your business client's cover story is going to cause problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, I suppose I will. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane, but this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. How long does this usually take? It takes as long as it takes. You don't just call him like a dog. There's a million more efficient ways of contacting him, but you do it like this. Symbols are important. Just like principles. This is a waste of my time. You two are acting almost friendly. It's a strange sight. Batman? About time. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. Batman got the memo. It's time you did. Unbelievable. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Uh, this isn't right. None of it. I don't want to hear it. just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood, wanted to see you, her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. My lab techs were able to replicate a dose of the venom serum from the vial Bane left behind at the police arsenal. But with a twist, it's actually a counter-agent. After a brief rush, it'll flush the venom from his system, leaving him weak and exhausted. Could be useful. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up. 
I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Putting a tail on me jeopardizes the mission. Call it off. You're right. I will. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with him at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. now welcome to our little hideaway home away from home the end of the line we're happy to have you thanks John you said you'd kill him after you got what you needed so what ain't a girl allowed to change your mind could someone get me out of these handcuffs please <laughs> tell me why I shouldn't kill you I could fund this entire operation with the change I find in my couch. You could really do that. But there'd have to be something in it for me. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. Already got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? Sure. <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's Freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or 
I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. It's Freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncover me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works! I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work! There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. And, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. You were out of line, Harley. You had no right roping them into your games. I said I was sorry, didn't I? I don't blame you for being angry, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, 
You let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. Sounds shady to me. I prefer a more straightforward approach to dealing with my colleagues. We ain't dealing with just any old regular type colleagues here jawing over the water cooler. But I get your meaning. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. Though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. A job? Sounds intriguing. What's the target? I like you, Brucey, but I never give up all my secrets on a first date. It's need to know, and you don't need to know. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... Unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? That's sick. And just wrong. That's the thing about Freeze. You don't see wrong or right no more. All he sees is his blessed Nora. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Come back later, will ya? Spirit of unity? Not really what I'm sensing from this group.
heard about your wife, and I... <clears throat> what are you trying to pull? You'll answer me if you're smart. I know pain. What it's like to lose a loved one. I can't imagine anyone knowing anything like what I've experienced. But I do know of your family tragedy. Perhaps you may know what it's like. What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? It's what I do for my friends. I don't have friends. People, then. It's what I do for my people. How very vague. I almost fell for it. You don't care about mine, Nora. You only care about yourself. An empty suit. The sooner you're gone, the better. do you want? He doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. Buddy, it's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office, uh, making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great! You're a real pal. Even if you wouldn't pinky swear with me. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> it looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Look, I had it handled, John. That was nice of you, but I didn't need the help. Uh-huh. Sure. Wouldn't you know it? You nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Hey, Bruce! Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham.
thought you looked thirsty. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Do you know how big my company is? I barely knew Fox though. Guys like him are interchangeable. Don't treat me like a peasant, Wayne. You won't like what happens if you do. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. <laughs> yes, men you can trust. So hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Hey! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it. What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out? The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. Wayne is as shallow as his reputation would lead you to believe. He would only drag us down. Out. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, I vote for Brucey. So we got a tie here. However, without Bruce, we can't use the EMP. True. Bruce is in. By a hair. You're hanging in there by a thread, Brucey boy. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hide!
We are close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh -huh. What now? You no, are providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. Right. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track oh, this oh, signal. Get your people here. Now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. <laughs> now we do this. Wait. What in the... Now that we're actually here, and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead. Both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wayne! Do it! What was the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? Oh my god, it's fried! All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! Nobody has to die here. Your place is on the perimeter. Keep watch. Yeah, yeah. Freeze! Open the door. Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. Allow no sudden moves and no talk. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off, or I'll shoot. No, no, no! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on him. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Waller, where are you? Waller here. Let them have it, Wayne. What are you talking about? The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agent's lives. You can't be serious. You were supposed to be here. Be careful. 
careful not to get in my way. Secure the cargo. Did well tonight, Wade. Better than that yammering harpy. How could we leave her? We need to get Harley now. Impossible. She's dead or in jail. So we break her out. And if she's dead, you better hope she's not. We have to help her. She'll be expecting us. She needs us. Harley chose to stand and fight when she should have run. Sometimes people have to pay for their mistakes. So what? We just leave her? Yes. That's enough. Save your breath. We have the cargo. Let's get this over with. You'll regret this, Bane! Forget him. We have a job to do. This key is yours, no? Open the box. Be quick. Sad to see a legend so, but there is no other way. At least now, we finally have everything we need. Riddler will open the path to us once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any path for the right price.